Hello everyone, welcome to SQL problem solving series. So I have a hard level problem for this video also. So you can see the problem says this particular corporate structure we are having founder, lead manager, senior manager, manager and uh, employee. And these all information they are present into these tables. So there are many tables. For example, the company table, lead manager table, the senior manager table, the manager table, the employee table and into all these tables we have different values different kind of information present here for example into the company table we have the company code and its founder name into the lead manager table we have the lead manager code and the company code which connects both of these tables so for each of the table we can connect any of the other table because in each of the table there is a unique thing which connects the other table and that is the company code which is present here similarly in the into the senior manager table we have the senior manager code also the lead manager code and the company code similarly into the manager table we have the manager code senior manager code lead manager code and the company code and at the very last we have the employee table which in which we have everything starting from the employee code manager code the senior manager code lead manager code and company code so i don't know why they have provided so much many tables so that might be to create a kind of confusion into the mind of the person who is solving this particular question so we would be using only two tables to solve this particular question so first of all we will we'll see what is the output which we want so the problem says given the table schemas below which we have seen so write a query to print the company code if its founder name total number of lead manager total number of senior managers total number of managers total number of employees and order your output by ascending on the company code so friends this, this problem looks very much simple and we'll be using the count function to count the total number of senior managers employees and all the other values which they have mentioned here so it is very much clear like why would be using this small small table so we'll be using a table which is having all the values here so this employee table will be using and here you can see we are not having the founder name so we'll be using this particular table to join on to this particular table so that we are getting the founder name here so let us do at least this particular thing for the very first instance so we'll be joining the company table with the employee table so also we'll be performing a left join or the inner join so we'll be doing an inner join so first of all i would do a simple a dot company comma a dot founder comma b dot so our next table is this particular table so this is the in employee code b dot manager b dot manager code b dot code comma b dot lead manager code and that's all I think is required and from company A inner join employee B on A dot so let us bring this to the next line so A dot company code so this is the column which connects both of these tables so a dot company code is equal to b dot company code so let us run the query so let, at least we'll see what is the output which we are getting and then from there we'll be proceeding so you've got the output here you can see in the very first column i am having the company code into the second column i am having the founder name likewise into the other columns i have the codes for the manager lead manager employee and all the other attributes or the columns which are present here now here from here on we need to count the total number of 
lead managers senior managers managers and the employees using this particular query here our output would look something like in one row i have the company code founder and corresponding to that particular row i'll be having the total number of employees manager lead manager and the other kind of different kind of values into the row present there so here we'll be using the group by function to group every row corresponding to unique company code founder and we'll be using the group by function here to count the total number of employees lead managers senior managers and the managers so we'll be using the aggregate function which is the count function here so we'll be using the group by function and on to what basis we'll be grouping by our values or our data so it would be on to the company code and also on to the founder because for each company there is a unique founder attached to it to the employee code i'll be using the count function so count of distinct employee code i'll be doing this and i'll be just be copying this thing i'll be doing for every other column here and i'll close the bracket would also need to provide the distinct value so that any values repetitive value is not counted into my answer so i'll be using the distinct value for that all is required and at the very last they are telling order your output by ascending company code okay so at the very last i'll be using the order by function to order my output by the company code so i'll be copying this value pasting it here i think i have taken into account everything which ha they have mentioned into our question so let us run the code let us see if we are getting the correct answer or not so we are getting a wrong answer here but this answer is not wrong because they have into the output they are telling us to query the output into a certain sequence so i would be copying this particular column from here and i will be pasting the column here next to the founder column after this we would need to provide the total number of senior managers so similarly i'll be doing for all the other columns Okay, everything is sorted now so let us run the code see we have got the correct output so friends this was using the different kind of different joins the group by function the count function the aggregate functions we solved this particular question so this was a kind of a medium hard level problem so i hope you had found this solution very much useful so do like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't received such kind of useful information on a daily basis meet you in the next video thank you so much bye